Hi, all right, welcome to the first linear algebra video. I'm going to start off by just explaining the real number set. Um, the set of real numbers is denoted by this symbol here. It's kind of like an R with an extra little backbone on it. And so the real numbers are, let's see, basically any number that you can imagine that would go on the number line. So we'd have zero, and then all of the positive numbers, one, two, three, all the way up to infinity. And then we'd have all the negative numbers, negative one, two, three, all the way down to negative infinity. And then we have everything in between. So we could have, let's say, um, one half, we could have negative 2.113, you know, we could have pi. So I think you get the point. It's basically any number that you can think of. Now, if we wanted to draw a vector in on the number line, we would have to say our vector v is equal to uh, some value x, right? And so say if that value we chose, this could be any number, so let's choose the number 2. So we can start at 0, and we'll draw our vector here. And so we'd say our vector v is equal to 2. Now, um, you'll remember from high school that a vector is just anything with a direction and a length. So here our length is 2, and our, we're going in the positive direction towards positive infinity. So it's a perfectly valid vector. And so we can describe any vector in the set of real numbers with just one variable, x. So now, however, some, if we want to draw a vector in two dimensions, we'll draw it in R2, which denotes uh, the set of all vectors with two components. So that means that we have the same axis, we'll call this the x-axis, and then we'll add the second dimension, we'll add a y-axis, that's the y-axis there. And so we'll have the same values here, it's a all set of all real numbers, so we can have 1, 2, 3, and so forth, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, and y will be exactly the same, just on the y-axis, so we'll have 1, 2, 3, all the way up to infinity, and 1, 2, 3, all the way down to negative infinity. And now, if we want to draw a vector in two dimensions, we'll say our vector, let's call it vector u this time. We'll say u, so this is describing any vector in R2, would have to have an x component and also have to have a y component, right? So say we want to draw the vector, let's say u is equal to 3, 1, that looks like we'll go one, one, two, three for our x and one for our y, so that would sit right there. Perfect. So now also we live in a three-dimensional world, so if you'd like to draw a vector in three dimensions, we would enter R3, which is the set of all vectors with three components. And so we do it much in the same way we draw axis and we'd add a third dimension well, that's not very centered well a third dimension going through the origin and so let's call this one x let's call this one y we'll call this x as z and so now if we want to draw a vector in three dimensions let's call it vector w we'll say vector w it has to have an x a y and a z component to describe where it is. And so let's say a vector w is equal to, well, let's say, 3, 3, 4. Now, if we were to draw this, we'd say x is equal to 3. So we go 1, 2, 3. And y is also equal to 3. So we go 1, 2, 3. And so we well, to about this point here, and then z is equal to 4, so we have to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, about that far. Let's go 1, 2, one, two 3, 4. Alright, so that's where the head of the vector would be. Let's draw it in a different color. So, starting at 0, it looks like it's going to be about right there. Oops, my pen's not working. Right there. So you, you get the idea. It's not a very not a very good drawing, but you see that 
In R3, we have a vector with three components, and it's in three-dimensional space. In R2, we have two dimensions, two components. And just the set of real numbers on the number line, we have one component. So now, I think you probably get the idea that the number of dimensions is equal to the number of components required to describe that vector. So in linear algebra, we go past the three dimensions, dimensional space. Though we go into, a, well, we can go into R4. This is a set of vectors that have four components. So to describe any vector in R4, we could say x, y, z, and we'll make up another variable. Let's just say w. Even though I used the, yeah, okay, I just used it anyways. But or you know for maybe a little bit cleaner looking we could say x1 x2 x3 x4 so here we have four components in four dimensions this describes any possible vector you could ever think of in r4 and so say if we wanted to pick some vector oh, whatever let's use v again in r4 any vector we could say it could be 1 1 to negative 1. And that could describe a unique vector in R4. And now we can go up, we can go to R10, R100, R1000, and I think you can probably guess maybe R1000 would have 1000 components. So in general we would say over here, let's say Rn as the set of vectors with n components is equal to say x1, x2, x3, dot 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 dot, to the x, n. So we have n dimensions and we'll have n components. So basically, yeah, just the message is if you have uh, the number of dimensions, I'll write it like that, that your vector is in, will equal the number of number of components. There you go. So the number of dimensions is equal to the number of components. For some reason my tablet doesn't work too well down here. But anyways, join me in the next video and we'll go over how to draw vectors in standard position and anywhere else.